Hey guys, you know, I've been with Netbait for a long time. The pocket crawl and the pocket series got us started. A lot of people don't know how many different things Netbait makes and they're all absolutely great quality. Uh, they're made right there in house in Greenville, Alabama. And um, this Spanky's been out for a few years and I have uh, found it to be so versatile. Uh, a lot of people just started using them on Alabama rigs because they're so durable, they got great action. You got two different sizes. You got that smaller one, the little Spanky, and then the bigger one. Um, but it is, man, as, as a trailer on a swim jig, uh, like the bladed jigs, the chatterbait style baits like I'm using right there, it's great. Uh, on a, I like the, the full size one on a swim jig. They work great by themselves. And I've even got a Texas rig, and a lot of people overlook the fact that this bait can be flipped. And we designed it with a little bit narrower underbelly just to make it a little bit more versatile as a trailer and to be flipped by itself, but it still fishes great like a swim bait. So uh, the Spanky, the Little Spanky and Big Spanky are, are killer. They're, they're extremely versatile and uh, they're great shad or brim imitators. So give them a try. Oh, there he is. Ooh, I'm gonna spank <laughs> smoked it that's what I was talking about earlier guys this is a, just a Texas rig spanky and it looks like a brim that's a, called a kick and perch that's an awesome color boy he nailed it you see that orange in it and the green the small light blue flake perfect brim imitator he liked it talk a little bit about about hooks and flipping I lost a lot of fish missed a lot of fish on various hooks over the years flipping and didn't really understand why and basically I've come back to the old school this is pretty much just a straight shank hook and uh, and I take it, it comes kind of like this but one of the common problems is they these heat shrink deals will slide down after you set the hook a few times so I take this heat shrink stuff off and get me about 15 pound braid and I wrap it and then super glue it or epoxy or something like that and it stays on there a whole lot longer and do this straight the what I like about a straight shank hook is the bite and by that I mean the distance between the point and the eye because your weight is right here when you set the hook that weight can blow the fish's mouth open and the greater distance you got between the eye the pull point and the point of the hook the better your chances are and the deeper that hook will get back in the fish's mouth so basically this is the best hook for me when flipping to maximize hookups and put them in the boat i am going to put some dye on it i just feel better with that watercolor having some dye on there 